Hi, it's Geowalk Studios here today, and today I'm doing, yet again, another Fortnite custom showcase. And today I'm showcasing Omega, Oblivion, and Drift, and the Drift Pickaxe from Season 5. Um, these two aren't from Season 5, I was just talking about this figure. These two are from Season 4, um, if you guys got that mixed up. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna, uh, save Drift for last. We're gonna start off with Oblivion. Um, this one was a little harder to make. Um, not as hard as Omega, obviously. Actually, no, Drift was the... Was, I mean, Drift was okay. I don't know how to rate all them. But as you can see, um, what we have here is... Um, I have... I gave her the armor from the... I forgot what he's called. It's like an e evil robot from series... I don't know. A minifigure series. I got it, like, a few years ago and yeah so i felt like this was the perfect armor and i gave her um uh gunmetal gray arms black printing and under here was my first attempt before i found the chest plate which is kind of bad this was my first attempt so there you go that was my first attempt which really didn't have the good chest plate I was looking for. Um, so, and I used a Black Panther helmet, orange head. I mean, it's not covered up here, but I took the Black Panther ears, put them the way they normally are. Um, and then this, I mean, you just ignore that. And there's Emperor Palpatine's um, legs and hands. I just put the arms backwards, or the body, I meant, not the hands, but, uh, you know what I'm talking about, you guys, and, um, yeah, let's go through the rift, yeah, that's a little rift I made, um, next, we're gonna move on to Omega, so, Omega was a challenging figure to make, um, but, with my friendly Sharpies, I was able to make him very well, um, I just redid the printing today, so, I'm starting to wear off already, um, so I'm just going to start from the bottom, gold printing right here, then the more gold to his chest, no arm printing on the arms, I didn't really know, and I didn't find any back detailing, I mean, I couldn't really do anything about the back, but then I went with the orange head as well, did some black, and here's part of his helmet, and then I put the black panther ears backwards, like this, so there are little spikes coming out of his helmet. Um, and by the way, guys, I did not get these ideas from anyone. Um, I came up with these myself. I am just look at the images, and I make my skins. So, another one through the rift. And now, we have Drift himself. This one was the hardest to make, probably. Um, I'm just going to be honest on this one. He was a challenging figure. Um, now what was really challenging is his hair piece, because, you know, we never got a hair piece like Drift. So, my first two attempt attempts, where I took a one by one cheese slope, you guys probably know what that is, it kind of looks like a triangle. Um, but you guys know what I'm talking about, the cheese slope thingies, they look like this, here, they look like this, in yellow. I tried that on, that didn't look too good. I tried Kai's hair. Sharpie in gold. I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't good enough. So then I took some of my clay slash putty, whatever you want to call it, and I made the perfect thing. And now what I did is I took Cole's mask from Rebooted, put it on um, the head, and the head is Bruce Banner from Infinity War and Thor Ragnarok. You can find it in two sets. Um, and I know his ultimate face is here, but we can just ignore that, because, I mean, there's nothing we can really do about it. Just, we can just ignore it. Um, and then I took a classic white shirt, and I used some Sharpie and some gold over it. Um, and I gave him the nugget sleeves, whatever they're called, nougat, nougat colored sleeves. Well, not really sleeve. He's basically sleeveless. Then he has his gloves and black legs, which have no printing. And then for the pickaxe, this thing was challenging to make since we 
rarely ever get any pink pieces. Oh yeah, and this falls off kind of easily. So I have to be careful around this piece. Um, but for this, what I had to do is use some paint. Well, no, use some Sharpie, per pink Sharpie. That didn't turn out well on the blue lightsaber, but I guess it's okay. Or you have a hilt, uh, like, this size piece from Ninjago. Then I sharpied this piece and that piece, and I have this pole here, on a cylinder. And yeah, that's what that turned out into. And, um... <clears throat> but yeah. And what I'm also going to be showcasing is how to make your own rift if you ever want to do Lego Fortnite stop motions or even a Lego Fortnite world display. Um, so what you want to do is you can find like a piece. You can use a trans a translucent head, um, a portal piece like this, or you. I mean, you could even use uh, this piece right here. Uh, but what you need to do is connect it to whatever. You can't have it just floating in midair. I suggest you have it um, connect to a rock. Um, and what you would do is take your putty or clay or whatever you have and stick it onto the piece. And stick it onto the rock. And there you go. And you can make the putty like very long so it looks like it's sticking out as well. Um, but, and there's also other options. Like, if you want to take this, you can use this and have the portal be, like, right here. So it does look like it's in the middle. Um, but, yeah, and then you can have your characters hop through it. Um, uh, but just, yeah, that's like a, um, that's a way you can do that. So I'm just going to set that to the side. But that's pretty much... All I want to show you guys, whoops, wrong figure. Sorry guys, it's a mess over here. Um, I just want to show you guys how to make a rift and um, the three Fortnite customs. I'm working on cir circuit breaker and um, carbide. So those should be coming out fairly soon. Hopefully tomorrow maybe, I don't know, but um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't enjoy this video, Click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.